I estimate that by any reasonable measure, the United States today is a little over 50% socialist. That is to say, something over 50% of the total resources in the country, of the total input, is directly or indirectly controlled by governmental institutions at all levels, federal, state, and local. Yet we in the United States have the highest standard of living of any country in the world. We're a very rich and prosperous country. It's an extraordinary tribute to the productivity of the market system that with less than 50% of the resources, it can produce the kind of standard of living and the kind of society we have. If I ask anybody in this room, if I said to you people, you know, you're working from January to close to June 30th, or maybe somewhere over June 30th, to pay for the expenses of government. What fraction of your well-being comes from those governmental programs? Is it anything like 50%? I doubt very much that I would find many who said it. that's true. So the question that my puzzle raises is why is it that private enterprises should be successful and government enterprises are not? One common answer is that the difference is in the incentive, that somehow the incentive of profit is stronger than the incentive of public service. In one sense that's right, but in another it's wrong. The people who run our private enterprises and the people who run our governmental enterprises have exactly the same incentive. In both cases, they want to promote their private interest. Any notion that our public, you know, we call them civil servants. When you sit opposite an IRS person, do you think he's a servant and you're the master? <laughs> the idea, you know, the people who, who are go into our government who operate our government are just as the same kind of people as are in the private sector. They're just as smart in general. They're just as, have just as much integrity. They have just as many altruistic and selfish interests. And no difference in that way. But the one thing all of them are going to do is to put their private interest first. As Armin Alchin, a Economist at UCLA once put it, the one thing you can depend on everybody else to do is to put his interest above yours. That's a very, very insightful comment. The problem is not in the kind of people who run our governmental institutions versus those who run our private institutions. The trouble, as a Marxist used to say, is in the system. And the system is what's at fault. The difference is that the private interest of people in the, pri in the private sphere is served in a different way. They do different things to serve their private interest. The private interest of people in the governmental sphere is served in a different way. You can illustrate that very simply by considering the bottom line they both face. Here's an idea of a project. It might be suggested to begin with by somebody in the private sphere or by somebody in the government sphere. It might be just as good in one as the other, just as promising. But, you know, all good ideas are, uh, are conjectures, they're experiments. Most are going to fail. What happens? You or a private group gets together and starts an enterprise. Suppose it does badly. It starts to lose money. The only way you can keep it going is by taking, digging into your own pocket. You have to bear the costs. That enterprise will not last long. People will shut it down. They'll go on to something else. Now consider a government enterprise. A government enterprise is started, and it doesn't work very well. What happens? They could shut it down. But they have a very different alternative. With the best of intentions, they can believe that the only reason it hasn't done well is because it isn't big enough. And they can finance an extension, not out of their own pockets, 
Indeed, on the contrary, financing and exp extension will enable them to keep lucrative jobs. But they can finance their extension out of the pockets of the taxpayers if only they can persuade the taxpayer, the, the legislators and the people who control the purse that their project is a good one. And they are able to do it because in turn the people who vote on it aren't voting their own money. They're spending somebody else's money. And nobody spends somebody else's money as carefully as he spends his own. So the end result is that when a private enterprise fails, it's closed down. When a government enterprise fails, it's expanded. <laughs> Isn't that exactly what's been happening in the area of drugs? Isn't that what's been happening in the area of schooling? I mentioned the terror. We are all aware of the deterioration in schooling. But are you aware that we are now spending per pupil, on the average, three times as much as we were 30 years ago, after adjustment for inflation? There's a general rule in government and bureaucratic enterprises. The more you put in, the less you get out. <laughs>